Welcome, today we're gonna to talk about this uh, fantastic 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range, all wheel drive that we have for sale. One amazing uh, battery electric vehicle. Tesla has made millions of EVs at this point. Uh, so you could say that they're the gurus of electric vehicles, efficiency, features, software. They have a lot of perks versus some other vehicles that are electric. Um, I have a Tesla myself, I have a 2019 Tesla Model 3 Student Range Plus, similar to this, but mine's only rear wheel drive. This is all wheel drive. It has a motor in the front and a motor in the back, making it all wheel drive. It's also like having two engines. It makes it very quick. This one's a lot faster than mine. All Teslas are pretty fast, but this one is really fast. And this has some extra software. This has what we call the acceleration boost upgrade. It's a $2,000 uh, in-app purchase. You buy it, you get a software update, and it releases more power. The previous owner of this one already uh, added it, so it stays with the vehicle. We've transferred this to our uh, Tesla account. We haven't lost this feature, so when we transfer it to you, if you buy this one, you'll get this acceleration boost upgrade. So what it does, it gives a, a software update unleashing more power. So it does 0 to 60 now in 3.7 seconds. Uh, before it was like a little under uh, five seconds. So it takes about a second off, if not more, of zero to 60. Zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds is very, very quick. And if you think about it, you know, right now I don't get too much into pricing because you could be watching this video, video five years in the future. And we change our pricing on a weekly basis. So if I say an exact price in this vehicle, it might it's not going to be accurate maybe after a week. But right now, you know, you can buy a 2020 Model 3 like this for under $30,000. So if you think about that, that's a lot of performance. 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds for under $30,000 for a vehicle. That's not that old. It's a 2020. Um, it's quite amazing. And the other thing to think about is it doesn't have like a fancy turbocharged high-performance engine that uh, has a lot of issues and needs a lot of maintenance. Uh, maintenance is actually very low on these uh, Model 3s. Uh, the biggest maintenance item is really tires. And we just put four new tires on it, so not a lot to worry about uh, for the foreseeable future. You know, basically it's just wiper blades and changing in cabin filters. Uh, you have a lot of warranty uh, still left on the battery and drive units uh, up to 120,000 miles, so it'll be quite a while before you need to worry about uh, the battery going out of uh, warranty in this thing. And uh, you know, a lot of people ask us, hey, when am I going to have to replace the battery in my Tesla? Well, really, a battery is kind of like an engine in the car. It's really not designed to be replaced. It's designed to last the service life of the vehicle. Uh, you know, obviously there are examples of uh, batteries that prematurely go bad, uh, but out of the hundreds of Teslas that we've bought and sold at our store, we've only had one that had a bad uh, battery. It was a Model Y and it didn't have that, that many miles on it. Something was defective and they replaced it under warranty, no problem. Uh, there are Teslas out there with 200, 300,000 miles on it. Uh, there are a lot of high mileage Teslas out there. We sold one Model 3 of 125,000 miles and it still ran great. So, uh, you know, Tesla, when the EVs first came out, when Teslas first came out, it was kind of up in the air, you know, how long they would last, how reliable they are. But the jury's out. Tesla has made millions of EVs, uh, starting all the way back to 2012 when they first uh, released the Model S. So there are plenty of high mileage, older examples out there with a lot of miles, and uh, they tend to be very durable. Um, you know, obviously, if you buy an out of warranty, you know, any type of vehicle, uh, you know, there's a risk of something going bad. But like I said, this has got a battery and driving out warranty for quite a while. So basically, the acceleration boost upgrade gives it another 100 horsepower. Someone actually did a dyno test. They dynoed it before the update. They bought the update, then they dynoed it again, and it added about 100 horsepower, which makes sense. So the majority of the functionalities in this screen. Some people ridicule Teslas for a lack of buttons and knobs, but the thing with this screen, it's infinitely reconfigurable. Even though this vehicle gets older, it gets better because with Teslas over their updates, and they're doing updates on a monthly basis. Uh, you know, every couple months, it seems like it's getting an update, or if not every month, uh, adding features, improving the safety. Um, so yeah, they've added things like blind spot cameras. This vehicle is out for years without blind spot cameras, and then one day it gets an update, then boom, when you put the turn signals on, you have blind spot cameras. This actually has cameras all around it, eight cameras. Uh, so it has amazing visibility, and those cameras help you know the autopilot, which is a traffic work cruise control. Uh, it's also like a live dash cam. Uh, if you add a USB port, this will record video all around it automatically while you're driving. So you know if you get a, a, a ticket and it wasn't your fault, or you get in an accident, it wasn't your fault, 
you have evidence. We actually had an employee who was rear-ended in his Tesla and with the dash cam, it was pretty obvious that it wasn't his fault. Um, you know, so yeah, it comes in very, very handy to have that 360 dash cam. And you can also pull up live camera views of your Tesla too while it's parked, um, which is pretty amazing. I don't know of any other vehicle that you can have features like that. So yeah, there's a lack of buttons and knobs, but you know, it's pretty intuitive. It's like using an iPad. And you also have a lot of voice commands too. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily swipe through screens. You can hit this button right here and be like, wipers on one. And it puts the wipers on. Wipers off. Rear defroster on. So yeah, there's 150 different voice commands. So you actually don't have to take your eyes off the road to do anything. You can just do voice commands and not be distracted and be able to make a lot of changes on this Tesla. Uh, really cool backup cameras as well. Um, you can play video games. You can watch movies and Netflix. You have a toy box where you can do, so you can talk through the horn, play music through the horn. You can make the horn sound like a goat or a fart. Uh, some stuff is kind of goofy. Some stuff's actually really helpful. All right. Even though the Model 3 is considered a compact, you have lots of interior space. Since you're not hampered by the construction of a conventional gas car vehicle with an engine and drive shaft and, and a gas tank and a mission control system, it frees up a lot of space in the interior for passengers and for storage. And you have a frunk right here, which is more storage space. Also a safety feature because you have all this space to absorb crash energy in a frontal collision. Uh, normally with an engine there, uh, you know, it can be kind of dangerous because in a frontal collision, the engine can get pushed in the passenger compartment. Obviously that's not a concern of the Model 3 and that helps its safety. When the Model 3 uh, first came out and was first uh, tested by the NHTSA, it was actually the lowest probability of injury out of any other vehicle they tested. One of the safest vehicles on the road. So it's not only one of the quickest, not only one of the most technologically advanced vehicles, but it's also one of the safest. You know, the Model 3 is what they call a category killer, where it basically dominates in every category it competes with. Um, so yeah, and look at all this space in here, a large trunk, and you have additional storage under there, since there's no gas tank. A couple years ago, these Model 3s were almost like a luxury good. They were $50,000, $60,000. But now where you can buy a lot of uh, used Model 3s for under $30,000, it's a lot more affordable to a wider range of people. So it went from being an ultra luxury vehicle to a more common vehicle. I mean, most used cars, most decent used cars these days are twenty dollars to $30,000. So uh, this is smack dab in the affordable price point for a lot of people. And not only is it more affordable, but it's also going to save you money on uh, electricity versus gas. And you're going to save money on maintenance because there's hardly any maintenance to do to an EV, which only has dozens of moving parts versus a gas car, which has thousands of moving parts. No oil changes, no catalytic converters to get stolen or go bad. It can be expensive, no cool coolant systems, uh, you know, no uh, fuel system uh, induction services, things like that. Uh, brakes last 150,000 plus miles on EVs with regenerative braking and brakes can be very expensive as well. Like I said, it's pretty much just tires, wiper blades, and uh, air filters that you're going to be replacing on this for maintenance. And you have a long warranty on the battery and the drive units. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.